Are you thinking about working as a hmm. security officer, but trying to figure out which company you should work for and how much they pay? Well, you came to the right place. I'm gonna give you my top 10 list of the largest and highest paying security companies here in America. Wow, that's amazing. So I worked for security companies as a security officer for many years. And this is what my license looked like after it finally came through the mail. If you're new to security, the three main positions is starting off, you have unarmed, you have armed, and you have flex. Mostly all of those positions, you're able to start with little to no experience. Now, in order to become a security officer, you have to take the level two training and pass the test. So any job that you apply for as a, as a security officer, they will require you to take that test during orientation. A lot of places, or well, the places that I've been starting off, they pretty much gave you the answers, or it's gonna be so easy that you already know the answers to the test. Unarmed security officer probably starts off at the lowest pay grade compared to the other two. Now, if you wanna become an armed security officer, along with the level two, you have to take the level three training and test. Also, you would have to have a firearm. So I had a nine millimeter, but a lot of people like the Glock 22s, some carry 45 caliber weapons, but it depends on where you're working as far as their requirements of your weapon. So a flex officer is pretty much what it says, flex. You're doing a lot of different shifts, different locations. They're just on call to fill in positions that the company needs filled at that time. This is good for people who are pretty flexible with their time and don't mind working those crazy hours the good thing about being a flex officer is they do pay a little bit more. That's pretty much what it is. You have unarmed, armed, and flex, the main three. If you like what you're hearing so far, don't forget to show love and smash the subscribe, like, and bell notification to get the latest HE content. So in no particular order, here's the first company. It's called American Hawk. So American Hawk headquarters is located in Denver, Colorado, and their starting pay as a security officer, unarmed security officer, is on an average of $16. So depending on where you're at, mind you, this de it depends on where you are as far as in the country. Some areas pay more than others, as we all know, right? So this is just an average rate. This is just an average starting pay and it's not saying that your area pays exactly that. This is just to give you an idea of what to expect while you're trying to decide which company you should work for. So American Hawk pays $16 on average per hour on armed security. Another one. Next, we have National Security and Protective Services. They're out of New Orleans. So their starting average pay is $17 per hour. Check out your area because they may be paying a little bit more than what I'm quoting you right now. Another one. Next we have on the list is Brinks. Brinks Security. And that's the people that drive those Brinks trucks, those armor, those armor trucks and carry that money around. Yeah, those are those people, right? So the starting average pay for Brinks is $14 per hour. $14, I'm hoping they're paying a little bit more than that. I used to see them running in and out of locations that I secured and it looked like an easy job. But the thing about that type of job is you just never know who's plotting to get that money. And you just have to always be on guard. To me, that's a lot to risk for that amount of money. Another one. So next on the list is GuardSmart. GuardSmart is another nationwide company and they are out of Santa Ana, California. So they're paying on average $11 per hour for unarmed security officers. Another one. Next on the list is G4S. G4S is a worldwide company. Their main headquarters is in London, but they also have a national headquarters here in Jupiter, Florida. So their starting pay as an unarmed security officer is $14 and up, on average $14. And as an armed security officer, they're paying $17 and up. Another one. So next on our list is 
Allied Security. Allied is a nationwide security company and they are out of Kunshow Hawken, Pennsylvania. I believe I'm pronouncing that right. Kunshow Hawken, Pennsylvania in the Philadelphia metropolitan area. And their starting pay on average is $12 per hour. So that's for unarmed security. Another one. Next on our list is Securitas. I've actually worked at Securitas. Uh, that was probably one of my first security jobs. And I did many different positions working there from corporate to flex to working at all these odd locations. So they are actually a, a worldwide company as well as some of the other ones that I've mentioned. Their headquarters is in Stockholm, Sweden, and their national headquarters is in Chicago, Illinois. So payday actually starting off on average $13 per hour. $13 on average. Definitely check your area to confirm pay. Like I said, Securitas is worldwide, but even in America, they have a lot of locations in a lot of cities. So you may see Securitas around in your area. It may be a company to look into if the pay is what you're looking for as a security officer. Another one. The next company is Proseger. Proseger is a worldwide company out of Madrid, Spain, and they have a national headquarters here in Hardin, Virginia. Their average starting pay is $12 per hour. So if they're in your area, check them out, see what they're paying. Another one. So our next security company is called Garda World out of Montreal, Canada. So as an unarmed security officer, their average pay is $11 per hour. And as a flex officer, their average pay is $14 per hour. So that's a $3 difference. If you wanna flex it up, be a little flexible in your scheduling, that's an option for you. And all these security companies, they have that position. This is one company that I was able to find the pay for that particular position as a flex officer. So Garter World Security, check them out if they're in your area. Another one. All right, so last but not least, we have Weezer Security Services. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but they're out of New Orleans, the NO, New Orleans. Their starting pay as an armed security officer is $14 per hour on average hoping that they're paying a little bit more than that for armed but if they're paying 14 on average for armed then of course it's going to be a little bit less for for unarmed security right so that concludes my top 10 highest paying security companies here in america hopefully out of that list you're able to find a company that interests you that may be in your area if you know any other companies definitely throw them in the comments below let us know where they are how much they're paying and possibly even what position. And what I wanna do for you is list all the job hiring websites in the description below so that you can go directly to the companies you're interested in possibly working for. Also, I'm gonna put another link in the description below that's gonna allow you to purchase any security guard equipment from Amazon. Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned for more. That's amazing.